Hey guys, I'm back. All right, so instead of watching some, uh, you know, boring old PowerPoint on chapter 35, I'm gonna try to do this for you guys. I'm not sure how well it's gonna work, but let's roll with it. Okay, so ultimately, chapter 35 talks about welding procedure specifications, or WPS. I want you to think of a WPS like a recipe, okay? So there's two kinds of recipes that we have, okay? There's one that is pre-qualified, and then there's one that's qualified by testing. So ultimately, what we have is our cookbook. This is our coder standard, AWS D1.1, okay? This means that I can take a recipe or a pre-qualified joint for my WPS out of AWS D1.1. We know that it's been tried, true, and tested, and we do not have to test it. But maybe there's something that's not in the coder standard that has been qualified, so we have to qualify it by testing it, okay? In order for do, to do that, we have to go to a, you got it, test kitchen. Our test kitchen is our PQR, our procedure qualification record, okay? So in order for us to have a WPS here, we have to have a PQR that backs it up or a coder standard that backs it up, okay? So with our PQR, we're going to take all of the properties and everything that we want in this weld, the joint and all of those types of things, and we're going to test it. We're going to break it. We're going to do all sorts of testing required by that code or standard so this WPS can be done. It's kind of like, you know, we got Betty Crocker, and Betty Crocker has these recipes in the cookbook, okay? That means we can just use the recipe right here, okay? But if it's not in the cookbook, we got to take it to the test kitchen. If we don't take it to the test kitchen, what if we made cookies and, hey, uh, really cool cookies, but they taste kind of like salt, all right? That means we have to go back and edit what we're doing, okay? I hope this kind of helps, and there's going to be a little bit of a part two, guys.